Pigeon is something I haven't cooked yet in the competition. Pigeon breast cooked on the bone has got to be perfectly cooked, still pink, but not too rare. It's leg meat turned into a tiny little bonbon, which has got to be lovely and spicy, but crispy on the outside. A sauce made with blackberries, and then carrots in different ways. I remember John saying, I take a carrot and suck all the life out of it. I think that's the only thing I haven't put right throughout this entire competition. So the carrots are going to be good. He's doing little heritage carrots. He's doing a carrot puree, and he's doing carrots vichy at the same time to prove to me that he can cook a carrot really well. And then he's got watercress puree, he's got some potatoes and little tiny balls he's going to cook in goose fat. It sounds like a really complex, delicious dish. And that, to me, is his statement, this bold, complex main course. I'm expecting that to look absolutely fabulous and taste like restaurant quality. Simon's main course is squab pigeon served two ways. Roasted breast and a pigeon leg bonbon stuffed with pigeon leg meat, chicken, mushroom duxelle and armagnac. It's served with three types of heritage carrots, cooked sous vide in butter, salt and thyme, pomme parisienne roasted in goose fat and seasoned with smoked salt and garlic, girole and trompet mushrooms, carrot puree, watercress puree and a cassis jus. I marvel at the mind that comes up with the five little green dots that just sing, that just scream from the plate. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> Every single morsel on that plate is delicious. Bring the whole lot together and it is fantastic. The pigeon with the mushrooms and that sweet buttery carrot puree that tastes of carrots, hallelujah, is a wonder. The pigeon breast cooked to perfection. It's sweet, it's moist, it's still pink. You just want to pick up the whole pigeon and eat it off the bone. It's really absolutely bang on the money in every way, shape and form. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very good. The smokiness on the crispy potatoes, the butteriness through the puree, the depth of flavour in the sauce. Very pleased for you, mate, because your ambition's been sky high since you got here. You've worked very hard. I'm very, very pleased for you. That's a beautiful dish. Simon's final dish is lemon posset topped with seven garnishes. Citrus tutti frutti, charred grapefruit and orange segments, a lime tweel, limoncello pistachio crumb, edible flowers, tarragon leaves, and a lime air. The prettiest posset in the land. <laughs> I have to say, it really is. It's just really dainty, really elegant. Yeah, you've tarted up your posset very well. Yeah. It's very good lemon posset. It's almost too sharp and it comes back down again with sweetness. What I do really love is the pink grapefruit because your mouth is full of creamy, sharp sweetness. Once you put your tooth into the pink grapefruit, you get sharp juice, which cleanses your palate. I love it when desserts do that. Well done for that. Do you know why I love you? Because you take something quite ordinary and you make it really special. And that's what you've done. You have taken the time to make a really good posset. That lime air, which is really vibrant and quite sharp, with the twill, which is sweet, chewy, and the little fleck of aniseed running through the back of it. I really like it. I would eat the whole lot. And the reason I'd eat the whole lot is because everything else here is rich and it's indulgent and it's bold. And for me, this cleanses my palate. It's a special thing to finish off a really, really special menu.